now, your latest headlines and most accurate forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Dia Wall with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines. A growing effort to rename the J.C. Nichols Fountain on the plaza. Mayor Quentin Lucas supports the idea. Supporters want to rename it to Dream Fountain. The street right next to it would be renamed after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. J.C. Nichols is linked to practices like redlining, which denied African Americans the opportunity to buy a home in certain neighborhoods based on their race. Assigned unemployment issues are slightly improving in Kansas. Today, the Department of Labor released the latest unemployment claims for last week. It shows more than 8,000 filed claims. That's down from more than 10,000 claims the week before. The state's seen at least 225,000 unemployment claims since March. The Johnson County health officials are making changes as a result of the pandemic. The Department of Health and Environment wants county commissioners to approve nearly $4.2 million, all to create an epidemiology division. Federal money the county received to fight the virus would fund that division. Gary Lezak has our forecast now. Oh, what a delightful afternoon it became with temperatures rising into the 70s and northwesterly breeze pretty good. Tomorrow morning, 40s and 50s around the area possible. With 61 degrees, that forecast downtown, 55, our forecast low in most of the city. 70 by noon tomorrow, 82 degrees by 2 and 85. It will be a warm evening tomorrow with no chance of rain the next few days. Seven day forecast, 85 Saturday, 87 Sunday, and then near 90 Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So a warm pattern continues and not much chance for rain. So there is your forecast. We will get some new data, of course, and we'll keep you updated. Remember to get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com, and we hope you have a fantastic night.